Titana Boa is famously known for being the largest snake to have ever lived, reported to have been alive some 60 million years ago, roughly 5 million years after the last dinosaurs went extinct. At this time, average temperatures in its environment would have been between mid-80s to mid-90s in degrees Fahrenheit throughout most of the year, which allowed many cold-blooded animals to get to enormous sizes. Existing alongside the Titanoboa would have been other large reptiles, such as the Carbonomies, a giant turtle almost as big as a car, and the Puintemis, another fairly large turtle. Antherachosuchus, along with Acherontosuchus, large crocodiles ranging between 15 and 20 feet long, much like the largest crocodiles of today, were also living alongside the giant snake. Titanoboa was discovered in the Sarahan formations of Colombia, South America, hence its scientific name Titanoboa sarahanensis. Titanoboa that was found was estimated to be 42 feet long, they could possibly reach lengths of 50 or 60 feet as there is no evidence that the one found was even the biggest one. Due to its size, it is expected to have spent a majority of its time in the water, living a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Weighing between 1 and 2 tons, its weight would have suffocated it on land, which makes its comparison to the anacondas, the largest snakes of today, inevitable as they too live semi-aquatic lifestyles much like the Titanoboa was believed to. It is for this reason that many paleo artists depict the Titanoboa as simply just a scaled up anaconda sometimes coiled around a dinosaur that wasn't even alive during its time, or a crocodile as it was once rumored to have preyed upon crocodiles exclusively. However, later discoveries regarding the Titanoboa suggest that it was a piscivore, feeding on fish more than it did anything else, meaning that it may have lived less like an anaconda and lived more like an elephant trunk snake, which was not semi-aquatic, but completely aquatic. Giant 3 to 4 meter long lungfish, or 9 to 12 foot long lungfish, are also known to have populated the Sarahan waters and may have been a great staple for the diet of the Titanoboa. It may have taken crocodiles as well, but as we all know, crocodiles bite back, and they bite very hard, so crocodiles as prey may have been few and far between and not a staple. It makes far more biological sense for the large lungfish and other large freshwater fish to be staple prey for the Titanoboa, as they are simply a much better, safer, and more plausible regular prey item for Titanoboa. This gives Titanoboa very little reason to leave the water. Being that Titanoboa was a boa, it was not an egg layer, but a live bearing snake, giving birth to live babies, which it may have also done in the water, which again gives it very little reason to leave the water. I am not an expert in the field of paleontology. I'm just putting forth my thoughts on what I think Titanoboa was like. You can feel free to put what you think in the comments. Do you think Titanoboa was more like a scaled up anaconda? Or was it completely aquatic like the elephant trunk snake?